Hey guys, uh, happy new year. I've come into the garage to do the Facebook Live because the wife's still a little bit tired. We got in about half four. So uh, I don't think I look too bad for, for a late night. Um, but yeah, um, I want to talk about New Year's resolutions and there's a lot of stuff going on about um, people saying don't make them, people saying yeah make, make New Year's resolutions, um, some people saying they're just goals. And for the first year in about three years I've done some New Year's resolutions myself. Not for the fact that uh, it's New Year, just for the fact that I like to plan things and, and do them in advance. But for most of you, you're set a New Year's resolution. It will probably be the same as maybe last year, same as the year before. And I wanted to share some tips with you based on some of the, the latest research to give you the best success in achieving your New Year's resolutions. So uh, focusing on kind of health and fitness, you might have set them to, to lose weight. You might have set a New Year's resolution to run a marathon, I don't know, to, um, get fit, for wh whatever they are. Um, first, my first tip is you need to set a resolution that means something to you. Don't just be setting a resolution because it's January the 1st. It means nothing and you're not gonna achieve it. Second thing is, if you're setting a resolution that you kind of dread the process, I, you, you wanna lose weight but you, you don't wanna diet, you wanna, run, you wanna run a marathon but you hate running, I heard that one yesterday. Um, don't do it. Like you're not going to achieve it. You're going to set yourself up for failure. So there's no point. Um, and the third kind of reason I want to talk, third thing that's going to give you success, is set a plan. And like, if you want to improve your finances and you just hope that you're going to have more money in the bank, it's not going to happen. So if you want to lose weight, you need to set a plan. So don't set the same plan that you've tried last January. Don't go. Don't go to the Weight Watchers Club. Don't do the same booty thing that you did last time, that you lost weight and then you gained it back. Because if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, and you expect a different result, that's insanity. A man a lot more intelligent than me, Albert Einstein, kind of defined insanity as doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Not gonna happen. Um, if, you want to, um, if you want to get fit and lose weight, and you, you wanna join a gym, why not spend today actually signing up for a gym? You can join online. Why not book in for a 10K, sign up for a marathon, sign up for an obstacle course race, whatever you want to do, but start the plan. Um, are you going to um, seek help from a coach? Are you going to um, invest in a personal trainer or a nutrition coach to help you? But actually formulate a plan that's going to help you. I'd recommend writing down your New Year's resolutions and sticking them somewhere where you're going you're gonna to get reminded of them. Because when you go back to work tomorrow, or you might be off till next Monday, you go back and your life starts taking over again, then um, you're gonna, your New Year's resolutions that you made yesterday, probably after a few drinks, um, they're gonna, you're gonna forget them. So just to recap, if you make your New Year's resolutions and you have things you wanna achieve this year, then make sure you want to achieve them for a reason that's personal to you. Make sure it's something that's important to you. Make sure you're gonna enjoy the process and it's something you're gonna, you're gonna um, have some fun whilst you're doing it and make a plan. Write your goals down and stick to them and, and smash 2019. So on to, on to my bullshit corner. So I'm gonna uh, name this, this is one of my presents to the wife. So on my weekly Facebook Lives, I wanna talk about some nutrition or some fitness bullshit that um, kind of gets me annoyed. And um, for those that saw my picture earlier, this guy just, and it's not just him, but there's a, a new kind of MLM, multi-level marketing kind of weight loss product, um, and it's called um, Prove It, Keto OS. And basically this guy, he put the same, same picture, same before and after. Now, a lot of the um, kind of quick fix before and afters are stolen pictures. Um, they're there to, to mislead you into buying their products that don't work. This guy just didn't even bother to even like, breathe in a little bit, he used the same photo and just put, I lost six and a half pounds in two weeks. And it's like, mate, you didn't, it's the same picture. And then all of his kind of, his buddies from the same MLM were going, yeah, you can really tell the difference. I've shared the picture, guys, just look at it, it's the same picture. But the way that, it, we, we, ta we challenged him on it, we, the couple of um, my friends who highlighted the post to me, we went on and said, look, mate, what are you doing? It's the same picture. He went, it's not the same picture. Um, I said, all you've done with the product is create your calorie deficit. And he went, I've not changed my diet, but taking the product has led me to choose better foods, make better choices. I was like, well, if you're making better choices, you, you've changed your diet, that's why you've lost the weight. So one of the reasons why we, we do that, we call out the bullshit, and this is why I wanna do this bullshit corner, is 
it costs you guys money, your hard-earned money, for products that don't work, and people are just literally ripping you off. And that's what annoys me about the fact, I've, I've spent 19 years in the fitness industry, um, the last kind of two or three years in, in nutrition as well, and it annoys me the fact that um, January you're gonna see the slimming teas, the booties, the shake diets, um, the Cambridge weight loss plans, sold by people that just have no nutrition or fitness qualifications, but just want your money. So please don't fall for them. Um, if you see anyone selling this keto arrest, prove it crap, then it is bullshit. It's bullshit. So guys, hope you've enjoyed this. Please share it to your friends, particularly those that are on their kind of fitness and weight loss journeys into January. And uh, good luck, and I'll um, be kind of looking, uh, looking forward to seeing how you get on. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.